Liverpool man of the midfield. You have uh, the Sandro Dazzo Johnson's farm, Speaker Ellis Tyler's farm, you got Evan Snow farm, you got Honorable uh, uh, former finance minister, Amara Connors farm. You have the politics guys. Her Excellency, Madam Lady Johnson's away. <laughs> and uh, you have a farm that's owned by the superintendent. <laughs> and then uh, one is also owned by one of our district commissioners, uh, on Tape. So I mean, you got a few of these farms out here. And what's the rationale behind that? You know that Bomi is an impoverished county. We have only one called a major company in Bomi, and that is the Sami Dabe uh, uh, plantation. Uh, of course, they are here. You know that we'll be able to absorb everybody when it comes to the workforce. So then we totally wise to have some smaller farms that will be able to create jobs for some of our citizens. And as I speak to you, over uh, 10,000 acres of land have been cultivated by these small farmers. And uh, in the next uh, few years, in about two, three years from now, of course, when all of these farms are mature and have a station starts, there'll be a lot of job opportunity for our people. You as I speak to you now, there's some job being created. Uh, I remember every snow. I created $1.5 million a job, vacation job for students. I mean, we in our own way, when we were able to create about 150000 uh, LD, you know, for the students around the area where the farm is located. Uh, everyone they saw me, in, and I think other people did the same. Madam President has a farm too. She's, I mean, in fact, right now she's doing some production, and uh, she has created some job for the people there. So, I mean, a good number of us are doing that so that in the next few years, uh, Bomi could be a county that will have uh, some job being created that will be able to uh, upgrade our own economic uh, status. What, what can you say about the presence of Sam Dabi? Well, Sam Dabi is doing well to a larger extent. Uh, the fact that that's the only company that is here. They have created some jobs for our people, uh, helping them to improve their living conditions. Uh, but one may say there are still some bots, there are still some concerns that we have. Yeah. If you went to Sami Dabit uh, Nursery, you see that some of the palms are overgrown, some are almost about to, have, I mean, to, to bear. And why would they not take that city and give it to potential farmers uh, that could use it on an MOU? And at the end of the day, I mean, they will be able to buy the produce from the farmer. But the case of Firestone, Firestone produce about uh, one million seed in a year and give it to farmers, right? And then on that special MOU, the farmers sell to Firestone. I think similar thing could happen here. But I may not know all of the, you know, call it the bureaucracy, all of the policy that is involved uh, in making sure that such a benefit can reach our people. But we are happy that something that is here uh, because they're keeping this place to some extent calm. There's some stability, you know, in the absence of job, you know, they, somebody said the idle mind is the devil's workshop. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, things are going on fine. Of course, sometimes you have some isolated issues like uh, concession violence. We have to move in, talk to the people. Like a recent, there was a concession violence in Cape Man. I have to move from here and go to Cape Man, spoke with the people, talk with them. And I think the next day, a team from Manoa met them. And for now, that place has again been stabilized, uh, waiting on final decisions from uh, the authority that is so concerned. So I think if it's eyes of Asami, that be, yeah, they are doing fine, but they still need to do more because if you have a company that is only here, and for both Cape Man and Bummy, of course, thinking to go to Bapuru, uh, we think that they need to establish more grid. So you need to do an expansion and need to expand. They need to expand. But under this expansion, there should be some conditions to be met. I remember the thinking about expanding into Sendia, and then uh, we all agreed in one of our meetings that they were going to rehabilitate our roads. The road towards that end, of course, up to present, uh, we think it is because of the rainy season. <laughs> and by the time the rainy season is over, they could start something. <laughs> So with the exception of, of road you're talking about, what are other 
things that you think in Sami Dabek will do for the people of Bonga? Well, Sami Dabek, I, they have this uh, CDA, this Concession Development Agreement, mm -hmm. and then that agreement states that at the end of every fiscal year or at the end of the year, they should be able to provide the country some money, I think the two or ten thousand dollars. The last six years we haven't received that money yet. Uh, but we think uh, it's about time to, you know, call them to an attention and request for that money to be part of our development uh, basket for the county. Now, we talk about expansion, but there's this issue that has to do with carbon stock problem. And what are you saying about it towards the international community? Well, I remember the last time we asked him, what, where are we now? And they said to us that uh, they were waiting on uh, some documentations from the international community and they were having the phone. So up to present, we are still waiting on Sami Dabe to give us uh, information, a uh, reference to that. Yeah, but why do I say that? Because they want to expand on this, is a, this is a condition that uh, we condition was set up by the international community. We were not the one. So, once the international community can satisfy those conditions for they be moving into the area, of course we appreciate it because we want more jobs to be created for our people. What can you tell your citizen? Because every now and then we hear negative report from your county, from the other nearby counties, uh, condemning the effort of San Derby. What can you tell your citizens? Well, I would say we should not be condemning the effort of San Derby. Why? San Derby has come. And you can see some of their own development. If you went to Matama Estate today, you see what they have done. If you went to the main yard, where you know, the BFW used to have at the operational yard, you can see some of the development there. Uh, but we still think that something that we need to do a little much more uh, so that the citizens themselves can be satisfied. Hmm. We are encouraging them. By the day, we keep talking to Sami Dabi. In fact, there's a committee that is set up that that committee is a liaison committee between Sami Dabi and that of the citizens. And that committee has been doing very well. But uh, we still think that the Sami Dabi, as a company that have come to a traditional county, don't have to forget about uh, what tradition is. I think so. I mean, and if that would be a recommendation, of course, we will say so. You mean what, the tradition? You know? Well, I mean, you, you have uh, stakeholders. You got our partner cheese, our plant cheese, the salt cheese. You know what committee entry is. And I think it's something that we all need to work on. Committee entry, let your people talk with them, express to them what your own desire is, what you tend to do, what be the benefit for the people. When the poor are I, I aware of those things, of course, make it easier. Uh, for you to, you know, settle down. Now, what is now happening uh, in one of the counties? They are saying, no, some of should not go there. They are people who advocate that they shouldn't go there. Because if they go there, they will not have a place to make a cassava pie. We are saying, no, that's the voice for us. We are saying, let them come. Because the more, when they come, the more job we have, the better our country will be. But that committed entry and that traditional approach has to be made. Sam Darby Operation, as one of the managers of Sam Darby, have said that uh, it's good and urge the people to manage their expectation, especially in the operational areas. What can you say towards this? Well, let me be about the people. Let me not speak for them when it comes to that. But what I will say, I, I could still think that uh, there is something that Sam Darby could do. Uh, some of those things that they haven't been doing much, is this awareness. You, you can't be sitting out and do awareness. You must use the local authority, you must use the maison team that you have to create the awareness uh, for your expansion. Yeah, yeah, you, so you, yeah, that's for all of that. Uh, mm. You are at the head of the county. Uh, you, you keep, you know, emphasizing the same that it needs to do more. In terms of A, B, C, now it's be, be clear, be specific. Well, let me tell you. Sammy Dabi came, right? Only the CDA, you should be able to give us $10,000 per annual. That money has not been coming on the last six years. Where are we? And you, you know, Western Closet, who have not started operation giving Western Liberia $2.5 million per annual. Except for the last fiscal year, they haven't done that. And that money is being used for you know, our development programs. So it's something that we gave us that little amount of money. I believe that money will reach to our people 
and that could serve as an impetus, you know, to allow some expansion. But if you want to put something that be here, and let me say this, if you want something that be something that be you want to drink, you know, traditional abu will not be satisfied with that, right? I mean, people have sufficient money in their homes. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I'm going to say this. You know, I mean, there should be a way that we can work with the locals. We think the locals are the owner of the land. So if you work with the locals, the locals say, no, you can use our land. I don't get an objection. The government doesn't have an objection to that. So what we all need to do is to work along with Sami Dabi, I mean, working along with the, lo I mean, the locals, making sure that, you know, Sami Dabi can stay have more land space I, to expand the plantation. The absence of uh, the, the 10,000 you talk about, what is that the only How is it affected? You know? Well, it's, it's, it's impeding some progress, because if you came to us and you said, this is under the CD, and this is what you're supposed to be doing, and it's not being done, you know what that means. Have you approached them? And we have approached them many times, what does it mean? including the speaker. We have had a meeting, the caucus have had a meeting with them. And they say, well, the CDA say we got to set up a committee, and then the committee got to come up, and then come up with a program, how they intend to use the money. Oh, man, give the people money, they will come and hold a stereo, I mean, they hold a counter city, and they will decide how they can use that money. That's my own position. Yeah, let me, let me come in. You've been dealing with the locals, as you are saying, right? Uh, and Usually we hear this noise coming from the project affected communities. Mm -hmm. And you as a local authority are working with people, do you think that the issue of the, the company not working closely with the locals is, uh, is one of the contributing factors to the noise of we're coming around here? Well, you know today, they have the concession of violence. There is a new age. I don't know why that is coming up. Okay. Even if you went to Golden Veridium, we will hear the kind of noise all around the place. But what we can do, and I think the solution to that is, can we work with the locals? Can we work with the team that was celebrating this own team? That they will be able to talk to uh, our people. They will be able to reach you know, the locals and say to them, look, this is your benefit. And I have always said that to our people. They come here on that way. Before they who knew about palm plantation bunny. But it's just the kind of something that they, they are now worrying that everywhere you go, everybody wants to get involved in palm uh, production, you know, palm plantation, which I think.